Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault facility after... The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called the Garden of Eden creation. You have to come out sooner or later! Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module, capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. Not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic <coughs> war. <coughs> Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. It's time to go. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing First. short of a miracle. It's time to go. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close, but 
That's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. The batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs>
Watch.
enemy. He has a pension for the dramatic proceeding. By what time? <laughs>
good to see you. Looking for that special something? Let me... Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Mess with me. Good to see you.
Oof. Person is. That's you, man. I don't... I don't know what...
I just installed a new grenade mod and I don't understand it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking throw it out. Relax. We can do business. The rest of these guys around here might not want anything to do with you, but I got no problem with you. Well, not with your caps, at least. Fresh out of the hands of some mark. Like your deal? Sure thing.
this guy go? Why bother? 
Son of a bitch. Hit it. This is, this is, uh, this is crazy. This is, a uh, How, how, it's on him.
crashed. That's okay. I didn't think that happens. I'm gonna fucking ram. <laughs> the textures that aren't loaded yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whack-a-mole bullshit.
Happiness. Calculation. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Huh? 
Ooh. Bumping into shit that's not there, man.
Thank you.
guess. will avenge you. Where'd he go? It's not, it's not a mod. <laughs> That's this game being crazy. here anymore. Oh, 
fast! Went through the same exact brain bullshit. Then when I got here the first time, push was no.
Thing eats ass. I only have two bullets left with this fucking gun.
なんだろうな。To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please dress in your Vault 112 suit. Remove all other articles of clothing to prevent damage to the equipment. 
Thank you for your cooperation. Spawns because uh, there's no like tiled ghoul. So we'll see what happens. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Ugh. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Can't say that I have, kiddo. What can I do for you, sport? Jesus Christ, back up, man. <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Nope, afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. Another perfect Saturday afternoon. You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly, even old lady dithers. Though she's lost most of her marble. Of course it is. America. Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Take care now. 
Good day to you. No, sweetie, I haven't. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. It sure is, but it always is here. Well, George and I have been here. Why, as long as I can remember. What? Oh, sweetie, maybe you should just run along and play. Take care. Hi there, I'm Jimmy. Wanna play? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. Kind of blown out. What? You're weird. See you. What's the latest gossip from Mabel? George, honestly, you know I don't like talking to her. Good day to you. Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Oh, you're such a kidder. Take her. Pat, you know as well as I do that she's where most of our news comes from one way. Just the same. I don't trust it. I Good day to you. Well, of course it is. What a silly thing to say. What else would it be? No, I haven't. But when I do, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. Computer what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? Have a great day. Hi. Hi, Martha. <laughs> well, hi there. I don't think so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. You can? I guess we'll see. Huh. Good luck! So blown out, man. Hiya! Hi! Wanna play? What? Did I do something bad? God, that other ghoul in the thing was my dad. Holy shit. That's so fucking funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yay, I knew you could do it. Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. 
You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. Your father? Oh my! What a splendid turn of events! I had no idea the two of you were related! Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather unavailable at the moment. Ah, now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. You understand that I am in control, then? Excellent. You are far more promising than your father. I'll take my karma. It doesn't bother me. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They are very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Good day. Good day to you. Our marriage? Oh, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. What a horrible thing to say! Is that your oh. idea of a joke? Good day to you. Now see here, that's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. You won't find a day like this anywhere else. Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Sure, sport. Now that's not fun. Have a great... Good day to you. What? Now that's a ridiculous thing. Take care. supposed to be here it's not real none of it it needs to end the suffering must end we're not really here we're not really talking it's all made up make believe we're sleeping dreaming mm -hmm. the dream became a nightmare it has to end it just has to but we're not in charge he is and he doesn't want us to wake up calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. 
My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. Believe You've you. got to find that failsafe. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. They need science. Martha. Um. Good day to you. Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? People around here should have doing your shit. Good day. Another thing. Missing something? Bye. 
I see, I see. Hello!
Well, hi there. Good day to you. What were you doing in our base? Okay. You're gone? Please. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? What? What the hell is this? What is this doing here? Oh my god. You have turned out to be quite resourceful. It I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Your father, frustrating as he was, recognized the significance of some of my previous work. He came to gather information on it. He was most pleased to be able to ask me directly, but he failed to understand how things work here. He was unwilling to compromise, to do anything I asked of him. And so, our discussions ended. If you continue to behave and do as I ask, I may be willing to release both of you. But first, you have work to do. Oh, come. There are fewer rules this time. I'd like to see just what you're capable of. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Oh, shit. Please put some effort into it. Do something creative. Beating her to death won't impress me. Still, you resist me. Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you, and so... Have you met Doc the dog? He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. You know that I am Dr. Brawl. Anything else is irrelevant. Perhaps you should be focusing your energy on what I've asked of you. Run along now! Why would Roger do such a thing? It doesn't make sense. The Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day.
Well, hi there. Remember what I told you? The abandoned... This is good guy. It's in field. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were. <laughs> Didn't you figure it out, huh? The dog. So loyal, so trusting, so annoying. I simply made him what he always was. Why do you torment me? You know who I am. And now I'm trapped here. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt, but... But there's no one waiting for me. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Mm. Why remake the old reality when... In Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Run along now! Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need, what we've been missing all this time. Mm. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As I much as I appreciate kill. your help, you were supposed to stay there to make a life for yourself there, not mm -hmm. out here. 
You were supposed to stay put. You could have had a good life in the vault. But I suppose it's too late to go back now, isn't it? The Overseer would likely have a shot on sight. Well then, you'll just have to come with me to Rivet City. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. That's my boy. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Of course, son. I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. So am I, son. While this isn't what I have in mind, it's good to have you with me. Be careful. He just got on his own.
Of course. Oh, that's there. Okay. <clears throat> Ew. What do you need? Well... <laughs> the very best kind. Whatever. What do you need? Huh? What? Hey, what do you need? Ah. You just run into Rivet City? That's disgusting. Good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... we don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. 
Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Is everything all right? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Please be careful. Jesus. Is everything all right? If he's Is everything all right? I am unsure how you. But I need to drop stuff up. I know it's so close. You go in here, Daddy. You're gonna see my house. That's not. What do you need? She's... She... Oh. Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have... Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here, don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, and now you're str- You shouldn't even be here. 
Why don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave? Just... Remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding That's occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Already cleared that out. Did you need something? Okay, but Uh, goodbye, everybody.